Mayor Kemp, please hold your questions to the end. Good afternoon. Obviously, we have a terrible tragedy here today. Um, with this bridge collapse, we have multiple fire rescue units on the scene. We have our urban search and rescue technicians on the scene. We have our technical rescue technicians on the scene. We also have live search dogs working the plow right now. Um, we have all of the heavy equipment we might need. We have as many as four cranes and crane operators. So we're in a full search and rescue mode and uh, we'll give you more information as it becomes available. We have multiple victims. Uh, the number hasn't been determined yet. The final number hasn't been determined yet. And we'll give you more information on that. And Fire Rescue is going to follow me with some more details. Thank you. Also, one last statement. I've been in constant contact with Mayor Jimenez by phone. He's watching a live feed, so he's abreast of what's going on. And he's given uh, directions as he sees fit. Thank you. Good afternoon. Paul Estopian, Division Chief, Miami Dade Fire Rescue. At approximately 1.30 this afternoon, we received a call for a collapsed bridge. Our units responded to find eight trapped vehicles under the bridge. Uh, at this time, we've transported eight victims to hospitals. Uh, we have many, over 100 firefighters, technically trained TRT, Technical Rescue Specialist, and our Urban Search and Rescue Team uh, working on the area on the bridge to try to uh, find viable victims. Thank you. Can you speak in Spanish, please? We'll, we'll, we'll do Spanish. We'll do it after. Yeah, Spanish second. Okay. Good afternoon. I'm Major Chris Telepetro to Fort High Patrol here in Miami. Just before 2 p.m. this afternoon, the Fort High Patrol is notified of a bridge collapse at this location, Southwest 8th Street and 109th Avenue. As our units arrived, along with Miami-Dade Police and Fire, we observed very, uh, several vehicles that were involved as a result of the collapse. At that time, it shifted to a search and rescue effort. What we are asking the public to do is to please assist us by avoiding the area of Southwest A Street between Southwest 107th Avenue and Southwest 117th Avenue indefinitely as this process goes on. Thank you. Good afternoon, my name is Juan Perez. Director of the Miami-Dade Police Department, uh, first and foremost, all of our thoughts and prayers go to those have the, the victims of this tragedy that has occurred here today. Um, you've heard from our, our, our partners here, many other partners that are out here, law enforcement and firefighters that have come to, to the aid. Uh, we thank them for their efforts. You know, FIU is here, their police department has been great. Uh, we are partners from Sweetwater and Doral and so many others that have come. If I miss you, I apologize, but we thank all the agencies that are out here supporting these efforts. Um, right now, we are uh, assisting in the efforts. Right now, the, the, uh, the main focus here by the fire department, obviously, is to rescue people. And that is what we're assisting with by, by controlling traffic, assisting FHP with traffic for now. And then we're on standby because as soon as those efforts are over, our Homicide Bureau will take the lead in investigating this tragedy that has occurred, and uh, we will take the lead from that point on. The state attorney is also on standby and waiting to come in and work this case with us. So for right now, that's all we have as far as this, this incident. Uh, and a very important message that I also have is that we have established with a partnership with, uh, through FIU, a reunification center right here at FIU. If you want more information on that, you can contact 305 348-3481. That is the number that has been established for family members that are concerned that, that maybe their, their uh, family members or friends are victimized by this incident. If you call that number, we will help you out. If you are one of those family members or if you're concerned, you know, contact that number. There is an area here to respond for the family members only. Uh, FIU police are on standby to escort everybody that comes in that wants to get to that family uh, Family Reunification Center where our victim advocates are, are, are at so that they can assist with whatever needs are, are required of those individuals. The last thing I would like to share is that what we, you heard from FHP about people not coming into the area, please stay out of the area and we will advise you when these roads will be open again but for an extended period of time. But I also need you, the media, to please cooperate with us. There should be no information that's coming out regarding this incident unless it's coming out from us right here in this location. 
We will uh, periodically update you. We do not need information that is erroneous getting out to the public because some is already getting out. And what that does is it complicates things. We want to be able to be the ones that contact next of kin. We want to be able to notify family members. Let us do that. We don't want family members to find out that a loved one is involved in this tragic incident because somebody puts it out in the media. So please, I ask you to respect those family members, those that have been impacted. But from the bottom of my heart, please cooperate with us today more than ever so that others that are impacted are not impacted by watching it on the news. We definitely do not want that. We want it to be controlled. Let us do that. We have victim advocates that are waiting to go with us so that we can deliver the news, whether it's, it's, uh, it's, it's horrible news or whether it's a news that somebody has survived this incident. We would like to do that if you can cooperate with that. And, it, it, you know, I would truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to go Spanish, all right? And then, and, and one thing, please don't ask numbers. We're not, nobody here is going to give you numbers, okay? But well, the phone number we'll give, yes. And what we're going to do is we're going to post it on social media. We will give it to you. Our PIOs are going to do it. But for right now, it's 305 348 3481. And I'll repeat it later on in Spanish, and we will give it to you guys via social media as well. Good afternoon, everybody. As mayor of the city of Sweetwater, we stand here today in solidarity. Uh, we've had a national tragedy here on our hands with the collapse of this bridge. What was soon to become an iconic staple part in the connectivity between the city and the university has actually turned out to be a national tragedy. Our hearts are here, extended out to those that the victims that were actually able to be transported away as well as those that may not be walking away from the scene. I'd like to thank all law enforcement agencies as well as local government that have cooperated with us. I've had numerous calls from all the law enforcement agencies and first responders. Thank you. Those are the true heroes here trying to save the and search for all the victims that could still be trapped under the bridge. It was shocking news today at 148 when I received a call from a mechanic that works directly across the street from from the Sweetwater and says the bridge just collapsed. I can hear the crackling in his voice as he's telling me this. And this was just devastating. I had to rush to the city as quick as possible to assess this and try to work with all law enforcement and search and rescue agencies. A one kudos that I'd actually like to give out is to one of Miami-Dade police officers, Sergeant Dolan who actually owns a business directly across the bridge. He was the first responder that actually worked there. And according to his wife, because he's still too broken up to respond to this, he worked on a victim for 15 minutes to maintain that person alive. Thank you to all first responders. As Director Perez was saying, try to keep all communications to this establishment and not from anybody else. There has been a lot of false a, a, a messages going out. Try to limit it to this call center, please, if you don't mind. Can you correct some of the calls? Hold your questions to what, the end, sir, guys, please. Was, was we have plenty of people that have to speak. Can you answer whether it was open to the other or put back together still this construction crew? Questions will be answered answer the questions at the end. At the end. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Ken Jessel. I'm Vice President for Finance and CFO at FIU. Obviously, our hearts are broken over this tragedy that has impacted a good number of people. Right now, our first priority is with the family and friends of the victims, and we are going to do anything and everything we can to assist them during this process. Uh, we have mechanisms in place to provide the highest level of assistance, and we will provide whatever assistance is needed. I would like to echo the, the comments of my colleagues that have been up here. Uh, the first responders have been absolutely amazing. They've been here in just a matter of minutes uh, to assist those in need. Uh, we have and we'll continue to work with them as well as the appropriate governmental authorities as this tragedy is investigated. Thank you.